Okay, so I know introduction today. This is like almost the second out of the third video I'm doing today. So I'm on possibly three videos or more. Who knows? I get a reaction review from second because um, this is gonna be pretty good, but higher bit news. This is a little bit more sadder, messed up news. But it's been a while, man. The man, the myth, the OG legend. Like I've always said in every single one of my videos since like 2018 or 2019, since I talked about the dude. Man, I was a fan of this dude way. Way before I was doing like um, YouTube videos and YouTube content and commentary rants and reaction views and freaking old school Pokemon TCG openings and all that too. All that other stuff. So, uh, Mr. Dave freaking Chappelle, bro, back again. And the last time I talked about this dude was last year when uh, one of the dudes, a uh, crazy freaking like sociopath or psychopath, tried to like freaking attack him on stage. And then the dude, Chris Fizey. He laughed and he was screaming and yelling, Is that Will Smith? And then Jamie Foxx and Buster Rhymes was with him too. So many people don't know, he's a really, really old school hip hop. But he's a lot older than me. He's like almost old enough to be my mom's age, more my dad's age, because I think he's 50 now. Anyways, um, there's another one from New York Post. I'm just going to read the last two sentences on there. Mr. Dave Chappelle. And this is the one I got to be extremely careful with. Play some. I was in a mood, bro. I was, I've been in a mood. I'm the good one, I'm the bad one, like, just on a psychedelic, like, if any people don't know, if you haven't known, especially, I used to talk about a lot more of my criticism guy channel, and a lot more, if any people remember, way back in the day before, you just took it down on Silver Timberwolf, Timberwolf channel, um, I used to be a really hardcore, like, hip-hop, like, underground rap hip-hop, especially in the other one, West Coast G-Funk rap, you know, it's like California shit, but then again, Cali's only three and a half hours away from where I'm out. <laughs> I'm in Vegas, but anyways, playing some G-Funk music in the background, only playing instrumentals of it, I wanted to play other super old school shit like Snoop Dogg or Nate Dogg or Too Short or any of that, but I don't want to get a freaking copyright claim or community guidelines, right? Anyways, that's the best one I can do, really, really good old school psychedelic G-Funk, like West Coast lowrider shit, because I used to way deep in that back in the day. I've been listening for the past few days, too. Obviously, I don't know if I leave links down below to the playlist. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble. But anyways. So I turned to my friends and wife and said, it's time to go. Dave Chappelle fans walk out in mints. I'm joking about, I can't even say any of these two. I'm just going to have to call them Middle Eastern countries. I was like, we were saying, because <laughs> YouTube is extremely dead, dead ass. They are very super strict. Unless you're like some shitty mainstream media. Oh, they're the main source. Unless you're here in the United States, if you're like Fox or CNN, HLN, ABC, NBC, CBS, or um, ABC or Fox News, then you're not allowed to talk about any of this. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to censor myself for crap on this, which sucks. All the unfortunate events that are going on over there in um, the Small Hat People Town place, okay, I'm Mr. Ben Shapiro's people, which you can't say nothing about it because, oh, you're anti this, you're bigger than that. But, like, I, Literally gotta be. I don't even walk in no shows. I'm walking on burning hot lava coals right now. When I talk about stuff like this, I gotta be very quadruple extra careful when I talk in this one. This one's from Kahara Supreme. During a performance at the TD Garden, I'm still, yes, a little under the weather there. Um, luckily, it's just a rasp of throat, it's not struck or anything, but. Yeah, it's just a sinus, so I'm infection. Performance in the TD Gardens Arena in Boston. Comedian Dave Chappelle aired his perspective on the fortune and uh, conflict. Can't say any of this shit at all because huh, YouTube will destroy me if I say anything on anything close about that. But I've seen a few of the videos. It's extremely graphic, gruesome, and things people could do to each other. And man, it's super often. And then I know it's old school tinfoil hat conspiracy theories. Oh, this is a certain bad actor and bad actress and shit. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I really don't know. The shit to me looks super real. It didn't look like it was plastic, mannequin, not real. So this is, yeah. Igniting some controversy. Dave Chappelle condemned the October 7th. Can't say. Um, to say, uh, I don't know if I can say the, the country of Lebanon and Egypt. Even though those aren't the countries. But it's very, very close to those two countries. Um, attacks, but are also criticized of small hat people, like the middle place, the holy land. I don't know if I could call it the holy land. Actually, particularly 
stuff that I can say. He emphasized that the role the U.S. has played in aiding Man, I really want to fucking talk about it. I probably have to do it in bitching right here because I really can't talk about it here that much. Played in the aiding reporting of a lot of like evil, messed up war crimes. Mr. De Chappelle further criticized the sick, small half people, Middle Eastern um, countries, government for cutting off essential supplies to that place I can't say and hindering certain um, safety. And concluding the two wrongs will make a right. Reactions from the crowd, uh, audience reactions were just mixed, mixed up with some of the cheering and some showing discomfort or disagreement. The Wall Street Journal detailed the incidents where the audience were alleged should shout it at Mr. De Chappelle to shut up. Ooh, that's not good. Reportedly led. No, that's crazy. I didn't know that. There you go. Uh, this reportedly led to comedian to dive deeper in his viewpoints, drawing parallels between the stiffest discussion of surrounding uh, that holy land Middle Eastern country I can't talk about, and conversations about transgender issues. However, there's some ambiguity, ambiguity, there you go, about who the audience members was yelling at, with claims that the shout was directed towards one of the destructive audience members rather, rather than today's Chappelle. And there's like a couple tweets here. Here's how it went down. I'm just gonna call him Sabrina. Um, here's how it went down. Per attendees, De Chappelle condemned the October 7th unfortunate um, Middle Eastern events, I can't say. But said that it was wrong for students to lose their job over the support. Another Middle Eastern country, I can't say. This prompted an audience member to shout, Shut the F up, Dave. This is what triggered more of the reaction to De Chappelle, according to the attendees. Said that uh, that Arabic country attacks were not an excuse to cut off water, electricity, or commit bad um, humanitarian crimes. Human being crimes. Some of the audience members were cheering and can't say. A couple days, the attendees say that De Chappelle has also said free that Middle Eastern country can't say, Arab country can't say. Um, but others in the crowd said they did not hear him. Later in the show, De Chappelle said in the October 7th, those, and, uh, those places I can't say, in Arab countries, on a lot of turmoil on WW-3, shit that's looking really, really bad. The, the 9 da they're comparing, comparing it to the 9 one one event that happened in the United States, too. It's no good. Also goes on to say, uh, two dongs, wrongs don't make a right per present. The uncertainty. Aside, responses to the crowd were so were some, somewhat diverse. Supposedly shouting, quote, that again. Contras and consensus, da 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 da. Yeah, the audience was cheering De Chappelle during this tirade. I was sick. We were sick. I turned to my friends and wife said it was time to go. It's no good, man. Historical controversies, yeah. Greater contact with those holy land Arab countries, I can't say. In the Middle Eastern Arab countries, conflict has escalated three times. Oh yeah, I can't say nothing on this at all. You guys carry that yourself, but um, I get the thoughts, views, and opinions in a second. The other one's from uh, New York Times. I can't go any further up than that because it does show, like, it doesn't show any graphic blood or guts or any of the gruesome violence stuff, but just a lot of buildings not there anymore. Let's just say, um, sadly, half of them are crumbled. I can't say it. So it's other members in the audience cheered and shouted that. What about that country again? Witness a journal. Some members of the audience have walked out at the miraculous moments. But, uh, that's no good. Towards the end of this show, De Chappelle said to John and Rose again, Spoke push person. Oh, this one knows the difference. Uh, spokesperson for Mr. Chappelle told that the outlet of the comedians, a quote, denies being in Boston that night despite the show being listed in its dates by ticket outlets. Yeah, final thoughts, views, and opinions, bro. Um, stuff that's going on in there, I really can't talk or really can't put my two sons on it. Sadly, I could, but it had to be like a Bishu Brighton or um, Mines or something. I will say this, uh, it is extremely graphic and gruesome. If you don't have the stomach to see what the fortune W-W- 
um, battle crimes are over there. It's super sad, man. Lots of women and children are completely gone. They're using, like, freaking worse than animals. Or they're, they're doing very, very, very extremely heinous stuff I can't even repeat in this video. It's extremely fucking heartbreaking, bro. Super mega spray. It put me in a slump for two weeks. I don't know any, like, actual, you know, legitimate IRL, small hat people, IRL, like, the Holy Lands peoples, myself personally. Because they're very super, super well, overly protected, like, group of people. I'm not going to say, as far as CEO, CFO, billionaire, trillionaires of that race ethnicity, yeah, a few of them, they probably are super evil ass mother effort. The lower middle class ones, I think they're real, real sweet, nice people, honestly. With the contact I've had with a few of them, um, very, very sweet down to the people, man, honestly. They don't deserve any of the crap that's going on over there. For him to, like, talk about it, hey, it is what it is. He's talked to a little bit about politics here, and I know he, he ruffles feathers. He's a funny-ass mother effort, man. I always gonna love to show that Deja Paul. I can't hate on my boy, man. Just too damn funny. <laughs> he really is. Even if he talks something like a little bit of political banter and all that, and I'll have to listen to it, regardless. It's all good for now. My name is Mr. Puzz. I'm Little Cartel. I'm that's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, bros. Almost fan girls attacking the muddies. I'll see you when I see you. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever in the world out there. Stay most of your time to share with you. There's a ministry news and long news for G drama, kick, Twitter X drama, and um, internet online, TikTok news, and of course, once in a while, celebrity gossip news and uh, Elon Musk news, and virtual VTuber news and reaction news as well. Peace out, later. Later now. <laughs> later hour, later tonight. See you on the good side. Take it easy. Stay safe and long amount. Uh, watch your guys' back. It's take your care for out there. Later. Goodbye. And I'll uh, see you guys next time.